Thank you for joining Luminati's webinar. My name is Rachel, and in this webinar, you'll learn how to effectively set up your crawler and proxies. So what is a proxy manager? The proxy manager is a tool to manage your IPs, ports, and the interaction between your crawler, proxy, peers, and target website with no need for development efforts. Luminati's proxy manager is open source and can be downloaded for Windows here or for NPM here, GitHub, and as a Docker image. Once you install the proxy manager, please select to upgrade if you see the upgrade button so that you're using the latest version with all of the new features. So let's begin. Um, in the proxy manager, you'll find a list of proxies, which are the zones you created. Down the page, you'll find logs of all of your calls. You'll find each call proxy, status, bandwidth, time it took, and peer proxy IP. If you're using HTTPS, please enable the logs debugger by downloading the certificate and follow the instructions. So to enable HTTPS, go to your browser settings and enable HTTPS to Luminati's IP. It is here where you can also enable SOX5. So you fill in these boxes and you're good to go. So we're gonna start with uh, creating a new proxy. In the top left corner, you see this add new proxies button. Here you're gonna select the zone of the proxy. So that could be your data center, residential IP or mobile IP. The zone is giving you the permissions of the particular proxy, as you should know from your dashboard. Next, we have the preset configuration box, which we've prepared for you a set of configurations for particular uses. Some of the most common ones um, are your long single session IP. So this is a common preset for filling out a form or scraping social media, where you want to hold the session with the same IP for as long as possible. Next, I'll show you the round robin. So that's the opposite. That's going to use for, to use, um, for data scraping where a continuously rotating IP is required. Last, I wanna show you random cookies and headers. And this is very common for e-commerce and ad verification. Always click save when you're done. And this will create the proxy port. You can always change your presetting here at the top of the page. Oh, so the individual proxy logs shown here track your progress. The next tab is the targeting tab. And it's this section where you choose where you want the IPs to come from, whether that be country, city, your preferred ISP or ASN, or even a particular mobile carrier. The next tab is the request speed tab, and that's going to allow you to set up how your IPs should behave. So here we can choose DNS lookup and whether or not we resolve it at the super proxy. This is great if speed is important, or the other option is resolve at peer, and this allows for a higher success rate. For example, if a request to Amazon is blocked, then you would choose to resolve by the peer to ensure a successful request. The next tab is the rules tab, and this will allow you to set up your crawler journey. Here you can specify when you want to change an IP based on a particular action. This action can be getting a certain status code, a certain HTML body element, or even a max request time. In this example, I will focus on a certain status code. This means if you send a request and it returns a 403 status code, you can choose to have the request 
automatically resent through another IP by merely selecting new IP. The same can be done if your crawler is facing a CAPTCHA. So in that case, we would change the rule type to choose an HTML body element. In the next box, we'd write CAPTCHA. And this time we'll retry with an IP in a more successful network. And let's use our waterfall method. So for travel and price comparison data, you will require fast residential IPs. In this case, we've created a rule that allows you to collect the fastest IPs based on your specifications. So for instance, here, you're going to choose a macro test quest time, and let's go with 500 milliseconds. And here are the number IP of IPs you would like in your reserved pool. Once you've set this up and you start sending requests, only the IPs that meet your requirements will be saved for future calls. This is ensuring all the IPs in the pool are part of those requirements and all of them are going to be faster than 500 milliseconds. The next tab is IP control. And here you will find configurations such as Keep Alive. So Keep Alive continuously pings the IP to ensure it is not released back into the pool. And this is normally used for scraping social media when the same IP is needed for an entire session. Another popular configuration is random session, and that's going to be used to ensure the continuous rotation of IPs. So next I'll get to headers. And these are really important for e-commerce because they must be continuously changing. Under the headers tab, you actually have the option of choosing random user agent. And this ensures the header for each request will be randomly selected. You can also override the header with your own name and values if you choose to do so. Next, we have the general settings tab. And here you'll see your port, zone, zone password, and basic settings such as enabling SSL logs and SSL to super proxy. So one of the most common reasons uh, people get a 502 status is due to the password in the Luminati proxy manager actually being different from the zone password. So that zone password is coming directly from your dashboard and make sure it is the same, the same characters in the LPM as well and that's going to ensure you do not get a 502 error. Another popular setting on this page is if you're looking to decrease your bandwidth and you can avoid getting unnecessary responses by using the URL regex for bypassing. This setting will bypass particular pages that are of no interest to your operations and in turn reduce your bandwidth. Last, I wanna show you on the far left side we have our affiliate link tester. And this is great for ad verification where they were commonly, people wanna test their affiliate links and the journey their ads take from the link to the landing page. So for example, here is one of CNN's banner ads. So I will take the link, copy it, paste it into the URL, Choose the port I want to go through, uh, whether that's a country, a city, how specific I want it to get. And this will show me all of the redirects until I do reach the final landing page. So this has been Luminati's Proxy Manager. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions at all, or you want to understand what you need for your particular use case, please feel free to Skype, email, or contact your account manager, which is at the bottom of the screen. Thanks again and have a great day.